Okay, so next thing we're going to do is take our seat belts loose. Um, you, if you're changing the color like I am, you know, I mean, I got tan seat belts. They're not going to look great, so I'm going to put the gray ones in. And if you're wondering why I left the carpet in, um, you know, it's a lot easier to work on top of the carpet. Anything that falls down stays on the carpet. It'll be easier to clean out once I get there. But the two front, you just take this, the bolt, one bolt here, loose. Okay. And then this top piece will just slide down. It's got hooks right there. All right. And then there's one bolt here that's for your shoulder harness. And then you got this thing here. Now, this is kind of screwy to me. It's got a little nut here and a nut here, but you can't take this nut loose. So if you take this nut loose and pull it a little bit, you can slide the seatbelt out and bend it a little bit and then bend it back when you put it back in. Now, the back one, first thing you got to do is you got to remove this, um, your headrest support, okay? And then what I do is you got these pins here. Um, I take something and pull the center one. You can see the pull the center one. You can just about do it with your finger, pull the center one out. And then stick your thing under here to pry it loose. Uh, that way you don't break the clips as much. But you got a couple clips along there and then this piece will slide straight forward. And you'll see where your seat belts are bolted up top. Okay, so we're going to take all the seat belts, the center one's bolted right here, and the two outer ones are bolted right here by the door. I mean, they're pretty obvious to see. So we're gonna take all that loose and take the seat belts out, and we'll see what we got left. So you do also have to take the side pillar out. Um, there's just a couple clips up top, so you just pull it, pop the top loose, and it, it will slide out and then there's just one plug for your light and after you take that loose you take all your clips out well this thing will uh, work it depending on how stuck it is but that'll pull right out and then you can get to your seat belts in the back so we're gonna go ahead and take those loose and we'll see okay so next we're gonna remove the door panels now there's one screw up in your vent here. If you look up in your vent, you'll see the screw. And there's one screw here. It's got a little plastic cap on it. Take the little plastic cap off. And what you do is you, you pry underneath this and pop this up. And then you can get to your wires in the back and unplug it. Um, then you just take your tool again stick it underneath there and pop the clips off now then you once you get it started you can work around with your fingers um, and just wiggle the whole thing up and and take it off you'll have your cover off uh, I've found that these door clips almost always break if they've been on there for a while I mean you can order a hundred of them for like six dollars on the internet I would have some on hand rather than be sitting there for three days saying you can't put your door cover back on because you broke all the clips but pretty much that's all there is to it and all the doors are pretty much the same procedure with less things you got a plug for your um, seat setting and there's a plug for the light down here it's a plug to the speakers so there are some plugs in there so you got to kind of lift it up and be careful and you take this and once you get it loose you can turn it sideways and stick it back through to let the handle go back through so we're going to go ahead and get this cover the rest of the way off and we'll okay so there's a couple more things we got to do before we can remove the carpet um one is this duct uh it's just got like one clip up in here it just go to your rear so you got to take that loose and then your airbag sensors right here you got to take there's just three bolts and a plug unplug that and then your emergency brake uh, again if you're going with the same color and your boots fine you know you can leave it uh, the easiest way to change the cover is if you look down here there's a switch for to show that it's off there's one screw in the side here you take the screw out 
then you take your adjusters loose here for the cable and then there's two bolts one here one here you take those out and the lever will come off and when you put these back on this is how you'd actually adjust your emergency brake make it stronger and you don't want to make it too tight though when you put it back on because your emergency brake will drag so we're going to go ahead and remove all that stuff and we'll move on we're almost ready to take the carpet out okay so we got that stuff removed and if you look there are some a couple plastic clips that go through the carpet you just got to pop them out for your wiring you know hold your wires in place make sure everything's loose and then what you got to do is <laughs> everybody loves this getting these stupid gas pedals off um i broke mine i'm glad the other one's good but there's a clip in the back that you have to push and then this fits down in the slot and they almost never want to come out you know without a lot of force and cussing and everything else um like i say i mine's burnt but i've already taken the one out of the other car so if yours has never been out what happens dirt gets all packed around there because you can't clean behind it and it's very difficult to get out but that's what you got to do anyway there's a plastic clip let's see here that's broken off <laughs> and that pushes in and it's supposed to supposed to release it and then you can get it out of there but it is a dog to get out anyway you get that out and then there's your gas pedal stop and there's you know a lot of them have one little screw up in here now this gas pedal stop is another issue um it's there so you don't push the accelerator too far and if you have an older one it's cable driven or the newer ones anyway that's why it's there so you kind of take note of where it's at and it should be set from the factory unless somebody's played with it and just try to put it back where it goes and then if you look back in here the carpet actually runs underneath everything now what you do or what I do is just take a sharp knife and cut along up here high um, every all this gets covered so you won't see it so if you cut the carpet up here you know because you're never going to get it out of there without removing everything and the same thing goes for here it, it's it's tucked up underneath here in the front so you know you just cut it where you know as long as it's underneath something and nobody can see it, it it's going to be fine so anyway we take those couple little things out here in the front cut the carpet and you'll be able to lift the whole thing out and you know usually it's a little bit stuck or something but we'll get it out of there okay so the carpet's out now what's going to happen next is uh i said i was going to redo the headliner i'm going to do that myself so you can see how we do that um and the pillars and what have you like that but i don't have my headliner it's not going to be here for a couple more days so when the next video starts my interior will be in but my headliner won't be done so it's only going to be a couple seconds for you but it'll be a couple days for me anyway stay tuned and we're going to do the headliner and all the uh the pillar pieces and what have you next okay so I got my material in and what I'm gonna do since I got two of these I'm gonna go ahead and do the one out of the donor car I have and then I can leave mine in until I'm done so I'm gonna do the roof the back under the rear window and all the pillar pieces First thing you're going to find out is getting the old foam off is a job. <laughs> I use a wire brush um, and just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and get all the old foam off. Now, I've done a couple of these. I wouldn't call myself a professional, but they come out okay. 
takes a little bit of work, a little bit of patience. Um, when I said that $400, you know, and I was going to put all the parts in there, the headliner was kind of ratty, so I ended up spending another $70 for headliner. I got two pieces, so I'd have enough to do the, the roof, the back window, and all the pillars. So after you get it all clean, you just start at a section. I find it easier to start in the back, but start, you know, sometimes it helps to draw yourself some lines across there. So you want to make sure you stay straight. Uh, if you start at one end and you get to the other end and find out it's crooked, you know, it's going to be a mess uh, if it doesn't fit on there. So, you know, I just use regular contact cement. But the trick is, you know, you got to get it real clean. You know, like I say, I start at one end and, you know, keep yourself some thinner and rags around. If you get any glue on your hands, make sure you wipe it off promptly because any place you touch, it will stick and it will not come off. So we're going to do the roof piece and we're, like I say, we're going to start in the back here. Um, you also don't want to do this in direct sun is why you see I moved underneath a, tr a tree because I don't have any other place out of the sun to do it. And the backing will make a mess, you know, um, when you take it off. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and start in the back and move forward and see what it looks like. So what you do is you can see here I spread the glue on there. And you wait for it to get just uh, tacky. So when you touch it, it should stick and pull up like it's rubbery. And they do make this stuff in, in spray cans too. Uh, it's a little bit pricey in a spray can, but you just take a brush or a small roller, roll it on there. Like I said, just do one section, and it all depends on the temperature outside, how fast it sets. But you just give it about five minutes or so, and you touch it. And if you can see here how it kind of sticks to your finger, that's what you want it. So when it's like that, then you just pull the material back over and start working it in. And it helps to have a squeegee to squeegee it in places. Try to take note when you took it off how it rolls around in certain areas, like it rolls around the front. Um, and try to make it put it back that way is probably for holding purposes because that will help clamp the edges. So anyway, we're going to start working and once we do that section then we'll flip the whole thing back the other way and work towards the front of the car. Okay, so next thing we have to do is remove all our door handles. Um, they just got like a little plastic cover and a Phillips screw. Two screws in each one. Sun visor's got like a uh, clip cover here and a couple screws in it. You just pop the little cover off of there, take those screws out. And your sun visor thing here has a clip on each side and a couple screws and these lights will just pop out your centerpiece just pops out and just pop it out and unplug it and then your set your um, motion sensor just unclips pops out so take all that stuff loose all your liners and stuff like that now we still got all our pillars off for when we recovered them um, but anyway, that's the next step we're going to do. And I'd add, if you were watching, I said that I didn't have my covers yet. And um, I also don't have my door panel on over there yet. So that's getting done. Um, but anyway, it would be easier to do this with the seats out if you have everything you need to do it. Um, Anyway, you can do it with the seats in there. You got to put the seats all the way back and lay them all the way down so you have room to get the, the liner out. Uh, but anyway, that's the next thing we're going to do is take all that stuff loose and then we're going to have to remove the skylight window. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to take the skylight glass out. Uh, there's a piece of rubber that sits up in there and you just pop it loose and you gotta be careful not to try not to rip it because if it's really tight in there it'll rip 
Now, the correct way to do this is to tilt the window up in the back. But my tracks are bad. It's a very common thing when the start, cars start getting a little bit older and I just haven't replaced them, so mine won't tilt up in the back. You can still get it out. It just takes a little bit more effort. But what it is, is there's two screws here in the back and there's one up front. Uh, they're torque screws. So if you pull the rubber down, you can see them up in there. You take the two torque screws out and the window will tilt up. And then you'll be able to get the third one out. So then you can just lift the glass straight out the top. So that's what we're going to do next. And we'll move on. I'll show you how the headliner is held up. Okay, so next thing you got to do is where this rubber is attached. And this is your thing. And like I say, I just push up on the glass and get it out of there. Um, is you got to take this screw loose. Now you, you just got to work with this and get this off. Uh, once you take this piece off, it's just one torque screw here holding it on. Then you have a couple torques. If you look down the side of your cover here, there's a couple torques. And you take those out and then you can see the back of the cover here and the front of the cover. The cover will just lift straight up. So that's the next thing we're going to do is take that cover off and then we'll move on I'll show you how to get the rest of the headliner out. Okay so after you get the tracks out like I say that piece just lifts straight up and then what you got is you got this ring and there's screws all the way torque screws all the way around all the way around the thing. You take those tor tor torque screws out and that's the only other thing to hold up the headliner the headliner will just fall down. So we're going to take those out next and uh, see if we can work the headliner out of there okay so I just want to point out a couple things this is the back and you see it's got like a little hook on here it helps hold it up so you do have to slide it towards the back of the car just a you know a little bit half inch and then when you put it back in of course you have to slide it back forward now to put this um, headliner back in it's going to be easier with two people now here's your clips for the ring on the top that holds up the center but it's easier to get started with two people but you can do it with one and I find it easier to start putting the ring in first and then work my way on the outside edges just a couple other things I'd like to add first off this is not a Saturday afternoon project this is a lot of work uh, but if you go on this far you're thinking about going this far you know, take a look. We got a website. You can take a look at the website. I got an article on should I sell my car or keep it. Uh, this will be a classic car another six months. I'm going to put classic tags on it. I'll have a nice car. Uh, I'd really like to pick me up a 6 Series down the line and, you know, keep this as a classic. But it'd make a nice daily driver. It's going to be nice inside, nice outside. You know, so it's a nice car, even though it's 20 years old. Uh, Anyway, you know, be sure to subscribe and take a look. I got all kinds of BMW videos, uh, time and chain guides, uh, water pump, alternator rebuild, uh, suspension, you name it, we got it up there. So, you know, see if something else can help you out in your ventures. And I'm not going to go through every step and putting it back together. You basically just do it in reverse. Uh, if you get confused and forget what you did, you know, take a look at the video again and see how you took it apart and try to put it back together that way, you'll find it easier. So anyway, you have a nice day. Like I say, subscribe and take a look at some of the other videos and thank you for watching.